Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plus. So in this video we are going to make the 3D drawing from this 2D view, 2D isometric view. So let's get started without wasting any time. Select create a sketch and any plane you want it. Let's select the XY for now. Now we are going to make, uh, if you study the drawing, this whole assembly is based on this rectangular extruded profile which is extruded up to 160 mm so what we are going to do first of all we are going to make this rectangular base and then we are going to extrude it to a distance of 160 then we are going to make this uh, circular profile with the hole and at last in the last we are going to make this uh, rim so let's get started with the uh, with this one so as you can see the outer face is 100 mm wide and 24 mm in height so let's get started by making that so first of all, switch on the construction line, click L or press the line command and draw center construction line from origin or whatever you want. Once done, click on rectangular, two point rectangle would be okay. Then switch off the construction and press okay. Now, before making anything, let's make it symmetric. Press the symmetric command and just make it symmetry. Now the dimension of the outer is 100 by 24. So press T for dimension, make this 24 and make this 100. Now once done you can see that it's divided in just half portion that is 12 and a cut has been given, has been provided here uh, of uh, uh, 52 by 10. So let's draw another circle, another rectangle from here, like this. Again, make it symmetric to the construction line and press D for dimension. This is going to be now nah, it's given 10 and 52. So make this 10 and make this 52. So this is going to be the pocket one. Uh, now another thing is we have to make two pockets uh, of 12 and the, it's the from 12 or and 12 so for that press R for rectangle and make a rectangle of 12 press tab to switch to another dimension by 12 and press ok now do the same for here Make it 12 and 12 and press OK. Now once done, just T for trim and remove the excess dimension that we don't need here. This one, this one and this one. And here it is. Our base is completed. So for now, just click on finish the sketch. Zoom it out and click on extrude. The direction will be opposite and the distance will be 160 mm as you guys can see here so extrude it up to a 160 and just press ok now we are going what we are going to do is make this circular profile so for that we need to select this face so that we can extrude it like that so just click on create a sketch and select this profile we will start by drawing two circles one will be the inner one and the outer will be the other the other one will be the outer one so you guys can see the outer circles radius is 30 and the inner radius is or the diameter is 30 so press c for circle and draw two circles Press T for dimension, give the another internal one radius of 30 and the outer one's radius is 30 that means it is of 60 mm diameter. Now we have to make two tangent line perpendicular to the surface and from the that surface from this uh, bottom uh, base the, the, the distance of the circle is 42 so for that just press t for dimension select this and this line and make this 42 once done what we have to do is we have to make uh, two perpendicular 
lines from this circle like this so once turned what we have to do is we have to make it coincident with the this line to make it coincident here and here just like that now what we have to do is we have to remove the excess part that means the bottom of the outer circle press D for trim and just make it like this now again you have to join these two lines so that it can form a close view so once turned then you can just finish the sketch now what we have to do is we have to extrude this particular profile up to uh, let me just select this yeah so the distance is given uh, the distance is clearly given as 76 but if you don't care about it the extent would be to an object and press this face click on joint operation and press ok so the only thing now left is to make the rib so uh, the rib is in the center of the this profile and the thickness of the rib is 12 and the and what we are doing have here is that it seems from the isometric view it seems to be that this line is tangent to the inner circle so what we have to do is we have to make a plane on the center of this profile the the outer profile is 100 mm that means we have to create a plane at 50 mm in the center so what we have to do is go to construction go to offset plane select this plane and offset it up to a distance of minus 50 and click on sketch select the plane you have just created and draw a line from here to here now as you guys can see uh, it is coincident to this point and is tangent to the inner circle the whole one so what we have to do is go to coincident click on this and this point now we have to make this line tangent to this one so for that go to tangent click on this and this so if you are not selecting this circle go to create go to project and click project or you can just click P for project and this project this circle and press ok now again go to tangent click this line and this circle so it is now tangent now just extend it up to uh, this circle so make it coincidence and press ok now it is both coincidence to the circle and tangent to the inner one now just finish the sketch go to create go to rev click on this profile just flip the direction and the, and the thickness option will be symmetric and it is as you can see 12 mm thick and just press ok now this is how this will look now you guys if you are not I'm not sure about the, the height of this rib so you guys can if you guys know this comment just put it in the comments so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel